Hello everybody, so today we are going to start a new lodge as I said in one of my previous videos I think it was about two days ago I said we'd be starting a new lodge very soon and it looks like the majority of you wanted to see the Spring Creek Manor I did a poll on my twitch and I also had a few people in the comments of the video that I was talking about it in say that they want to see Spring Creek Manor to see what we could do with it so that's what we are going to do we're gonna make a Spring Creek Manor I've actually not got one of these currently so this is going to be new to most of the people on the channel because this is the first time that I will be actually doing the Spring Creek Manor here on YouTube. I've used it in the past, like when it first came out, but when they released the Sika Safari, I kind of moved all my trophies over to that lodge. So I've pretty much only used that one since the release of it. But we will get a Spring Creek Manor going and let's see what we can put in it. So basically, we're going to start on Silver Ridge Peaks, get as many of the trophies from there as we can. And then once we've gotten everything that we want off of Silver Ridge, we'll start moving to other maps and just slowly fill up this lodge. I want it to be the best lodge that we can possibly make it with what it has available because there's not as many plaques in this one, not nearly as many full body mounts. So we'll actually have to be uh, kind of like careful on like what we put where to maximize the space that we have. We're going to save most of these body mounts for rare fur variations and multi mounts most likely because since we're kind of limited on body mounts we want to make the most out of them and I think multi mounts are going to be the best way to do that we actually have a quite a few of these ones right here so we're gonna to have to get some smaller species and put them in some multi mounts this will give us a reason to go after like foxes and rabbits and ducks and stuff like that that we can make cool multi mounts with but enough talking about the lodge let's get out there and hunt some Silver Ridge Peaks trophies all right, so I decided that today we're actually going to use the shotgun. So I've got the uh, 12 gauge over and under that you start out with. I never use this gun, so I figured we should probably give it a little bit of a spin today. I've also got the 10 gauge for the larger animals, and I've got the 20 gauge side by side. I tried to go with mainly classic style weapons. So that's what we're going to be using today. Hopefully we can get a couple nice trophies. So I think what we're going to do is we'll go to pronghorn time or maybe turkey time. I guess we'll start with turkeys and then we'll go to some pronghorn after. So I set the time to 7 a.m. And so far we've got a few elk out here. Nothing really too crazy from what I, from what I can see. But at least we have a few animals here. I would like to get a nice Rocky Mountain elk. We got our uh, brown fur variant diamond a couple days ago, so I don't think we'll run into any diamonds anytime soon, but maybe we will get lucky. That would be a nice thing to add to our lodge. But we're mainly out here for the pronghorn and turkey today, because those are a couple diamonds that I want to add first. Ooh, we have a level 3 turkey over there. That is the first turkey I've seen, and it's a level 3. And that is also a new feed zone, so... Good to know that it is over here. And there's also a level 2 right there. I think what we're gonna do is toss all of the decoys down right here. And then we will call them in. Now, since this level 2 was alerted... I don't know if it's going to come to the calls, but we will do our best to get both of them in here. I don't think that level 3 wants to come though, but that level 2 is, so we'll definitely wait for the 2 to get over here, take him, and then go for that level 3. This 2 could also be diamond since it is the max weight estimate. Quite a few of these max weight estimate turkeys make diamond, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, looks like this guy actually is moving a little bit. I don't think he's coming to our call though. We'll keep calling, hopefully we can get that 3 to come over here too. Yeah, this level 2 is running in pretty quickly. It seems very interested in our calls. But that level 3 is just not moving, so we will probably have to stalk that one. But we'll definitely get this guy, because he's running right at us. So it got to 100, it's kind of just sitting there. I don't know if it's actually going to continue coming into the decoys or not. We'll do our best to get it to come closer. I might just have to move closer to the decoys and then start calling it, so we'll see if that will change anything. 
yes this turkey just does not seem interested anymore i don't think it's going to continue coming in we're probably going to have to just rush it with the shotgun then because it's the only way i can think of getting it to come over to us there we go all right we hit it on both of those I don't know if it's gonna die though. It tanked both of those shots. Didn't seem to really affect it much. We'll probably start using the 10 gauge if the 20 gauge doesn't have that range then. We definitely don't want that to happen with our level three. Yeah, that turkey's not gonna die. It's been way too long. But we definitely screwed up the shots on that level two. But we will just have to get close enough to take this guy without any worries and make sure that we get him down All right he is alert I'm not sure if the wind maybe got towards him or what I think it might be just the fact that I was standing up maybe we can get some decoys set up for this guy to come into because we've seen quite a few of the turkeys strutting on my twitch stream but I don't think I've really showcased it here on YouTube, so we'll try to get that. Also, here's the blood from that level 2 we hit. Did not hit it very good at all. It did eventually die though, it looks like. So we will have to go get that. I didn't really expect it to die, honestly. We didn't hit it very good. Uh oh. Well, here comes the turkey. Uh, at least he flew at us, I guess. That's not really how I wanted to kill him. But if he's going to fly at us, we should probably take the shot. But there we go. The first diamond in our new lodge is a turkey. 4.7. It's actually a pretty decent sized turkey also. So that's nice. Kind of an interesting pose for it to die in. But we'll go ahead and tax that. And add it as our first diamond in the brand new lodge. Let's go try and find that level 2 that we wounded. And then we will go after some pronghorn. There we go. There's that turkey. It actually didn't go very far. It's a good thing that these guys walk really slowly. Let's see what we got here. 4.30 gold. We only got 3 pellets to hit it actually. So that explains why it survived for so long. But, all right, so we actually have another turkey right there, but the pronghorn are coming in So I'm probably gonna shoot the pronghorn since we already have a diamond turkey. I Want to test and see what the range of the 12 gauge slugs is because I never really used them much Never really used the shotguns much at all. So I'm not familiar with the range on these slugs So we will go ahead and fire a slug at one of these level threes Probably this guy right here because he's the closest. Alright, so it does take a little bit of time for it to travel. It's going to be the only downside to it. We'll just try to take shot on broadside animals only. But at least it does have the penetration to do a frontal shot. Uh, let me know what you guys like the best out of all the shotguns. The 20 gauge side by side, the 20 gauge semi, the 10 gauge, or the 12 gauge pump, or the 12 gauge over and under, because my favorite so far is the 10 gauge. It's always been my favorite shotgun. Pretty much the only shotgun that I actually used for the longest time. Yeah, we did hit intestines, so that travel time is going to take some getting used to, but I think we will be able to start nailing them pretty soon. So we've got a level 4 in those trees. I think we'll try and get him down. Because that is the biggest pronghorn that we've seen so far. About 100 and... Like 185 out, roughly. So we will want to get a little bit closer before we take a shot. But that level 4 is definitely our next target. These pronghorn are just not interested. They don't even care that I'm here. That's crazy, these pronghorn don't even care. Okay, there's the level 4. We got him down. 
slowly getting used to these shotguns, but I think I should be able to get used to them pretty quickly. I want to be good with all the weapons in the game, not just the rifles and the bows, because as of now, like I said, that's all I've really used. I want to get good with all of the guns. That's why for the longest time I used the air rifle. But let's see, we did hit double lungs on this guy. 86.80, not too bad of a level four pronghorn. This one's got some character also. It's got a really tight hook on the left side and a very straight one on the right side. That's very cool, I like that. Very nice looking pronghorn. Let's uh, move on to another spot now that we killed that guy. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of pronghorn. Uh, that's a decent level three right there. Actually quite a few decent threes here. Ooh, that guy looks big. Oh my gosh. That might be the biggest level five I think I've seen. That's a really high estimate. Uh, we for sure have to take this guy down and make sure that we don't mess the shot up. He's out at about 150. Uh, we're gonna wanna get a little closer than that. I wanna get to 100. If it wasn't behind that other pronghorn, this would be a perfect shot. But of course it has to stop right behind another pronghorn. Uh-oh, he is alarmed. Uh-oh, he is fleeing now. He's the only one that decided to flee out of all of them. I am so tempted to take that shot. But I know I shouldn't. You know what? We're gonna go for it. Oh my gosh. Um. I really hope that wasn't spine. I think we double lunged him. I think we double lunged him. I was zeroed at 100 and he was 130 out. I aimed right in the center, so that should be hard. That should be hard. I don't think that was spine. Ooh, I'm so nervous now. Please let there be vital blood under him. Please let there be vital blood. It is, that's vital blood. We got him, oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Uh, that's another albino too. Uh, let's get the 10 gauge slugs now. <laughs> Take that guy down. Well, this lake is still insane. This is where I got my albino pronghorn. And now we have our biggest level five and another albino bison. This has become a pretty insane hunt and I'm really happy that we got what should be our highest scoring pronghorn ever. Cause this is the highest estimate I think I've seen any of them have. So let's go ahead and turn the tracks off so we can get a good picture of this guy since he is most likely our biggest pronghorn. Yeah, it's probably the best we're gonna get. But let's get this guy claimed. 101.80, that is a big pronghorn. And it was a heart shot. A 134 meter moving heart shot with 12 gauge slugs. That might be one of the best shots I've ever hit. That might be the best shot I've ever hit. Look at the size of this pronghorn. I'm so happy with this. I am so happy with this. This is better than any of the other ones we've killed so far. Just look at how giant he is. The only thing that I would like is a little bit more hooks and slightly larger cutters and then this guy would be absolutely perfect. But I'm guessing that that would be a very rare trophy to find. But still that is awesome. Very good scoring pronghorn. There he is. Let's get a shot in those lungs. He is now aggressive. Alright, there he goes. Not exactly the best way to take down a bison, but... 
yeah it was only gonna be a silver anyway so not too big of a deal we did hit it five times though that's uh not ethical at all but we will just have to go with it for now well at least we hit a vital organ right but let's get this guy taxed and throw him in the lodge all right so since we're just starting this out uh, we'll probably put the Plains Bison right here. Get him in a good pose. Eh, that one works for now. And then we'll put the Pronghorn over here, since they are the first two trophies that we've got. And then the Turkey can go right on this little mount. Not too bad. This is a good start to this new lodge. Definitely really like the way this pronghorn looks. It's a very nice one. Alright guys, well, that's probably going to be it for the video. We got ourselves some pretty nice trophies today. I'd say this is a very good start to our lodge. But I will see you all in the next video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel and you're enjoying the content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And be sure to like the video because it does help my channel out a bunch. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. Peace, my dudes. Have a fantastic day.